Okay, so next we're going to look at these three molecules here, okay? They're all benzene rings with two bromines attached. So there's one molecule, another one, okay? And I want you to use this analysis here and what we did before to kind of uh, figure out how many different groups of uh, hydrogens are there. So pause the video, take a look, and come back. Okay, so the answer is, in this molecule here, you have three groups of equivalent hydrogens. hydrogens. Here you have one group of equivalent hydrogens. And then here you have two groups of hydrogens. Okay? Uh, the reason why this is three is because um, I'll draw in the group. So this is one group. This is the second group. These guys, HB, and it's HC. Okay? Okay. And in case you're wondering why they're different, um, this hydrogen here, its distance from the electronegative groups is one bond, two bond, three bonds, one bond, two bond, three bonds, so, okay? And it's being sandwiched by two bromines that are electronegative and taking away its electrons and deshielding the hydrogen. Give me all your electrons. <laughs> okay, so this is probably going to be our most deshielded hydrogen. And no other hydrogen here feels the same effect. This guy's this guy's kind of like on the side. He's he's kind of he's like kind of being scared by like only one bromine. This is this guy's kind of like farther away, so that's why he's different from him. And then this guy here, this hydrogen B feels the same thing as this guy. They both have a bromine over here, a bromine over here, and a hydrogen behind them, sort of. And this guy here, HC, he's like he kind of has like the back row seats. He's just sitting there watching the two bromines steal the electrons from the hydrogen. So he's going to be the third group. Okay. Next, uh, this one here. There's kind of like a symmetry element here because uh, see how all these bonds here they're in plane, so it's just a flat molecule. So if you draw a line through it, right, it's kind of symmetrical. These two hydrogens feel the same exact thing as these two hydrogens. These two hydrogens have a, a bromine kind of like thief here. These two hydrogens have a bromine thief here, and they kind of have hydrogens backing them up behind them. Cool. All right, last one here. Two equivalent hydrogen groups. So these are two groups, HA, HA, HP, HP. OK? Because once again, uh, one bond, two bond, three bond, one bond, two bond, three bond, and then their environments are basically like the same. So they're equivalent hydrogens. And then HB, one bond, two bond, three bonds, four bonds away. One bond, two bond, three bonds, four bonds away. So they're the same distance away from electronegative groups here, bromine and bromine, and their environments look the same. There's also like another element of symmetry that you can kind of see here. We go ahead and have it this. Okay? Alright. Okay, so this one here, I'll just tell you first and I'll show it to you later. So this one here, you have HA, HA, it's one group of equivalent hydrogens. Here you have HB and here you have HC. I know you're thinking like, what the heck, I thought they were the same, but I'll show you in a second. Here you have HA, here you have HB and HB. They're equivalent in this case, I'll show you in a second, don't worry. Here, um, they're all equivalent, HA, HA. J, J. Okay, now I'm going to show you it so you don't have to freak out. So, so the first one here, right? Um, you need to look at it in a slightly different way. So what I did is I turned this triangle, I rotated it about 90 degrees. So now it looks like this because um, chlorine here is just now shifted up here. Chlorine is now here because I just rotated it, right? That's, that's HCHB. I'm writing it right now. C and B. This is A and A, so you can kind of keep track of everything. And then the next thing you do is, you take your, your um, this is a cyclopropane. You turn your cyclopropane like this. So now it become, it kind of looks more like this. And then you have, before you had, when you were looking at it from here into the cyclopropane, the two chlorines were wedged, and that means they were coming at you. So then when you turn it, um, 
this way, they'll, they'll be coming up at you because your eye was here before. And you were looking down into the structure, right? So you have two chlorines going up, right? Uh, and then you, I hear you have two hydrogens from before. So these hydrogens, their environments are the same because they both have kind of like a chlorine thief up here, chlorine thief up here. And then they, these two hydrogens, they both feel hydrogen over here. Okay. And then these hydrogens, they're actually not equivalent. So I'm going to make this one B and this one C. It's, and the reason behind that is because it, this HB feels, his environment's different from HC because he has two hydrogens across from him. He feels the effects here and he's being pulled diagonally. His electrons are being dragged up here by the two chlorines. But this, this um, hydrogen here, right, his electrons are being dragged directly across to the, to the two chlorines that are electronegative and deshielding. And he feels two hydrogens down here. And another, another note is that in, when you have cyclo rings, the bonds don't rotate no matter what. You just they can't rotate because everything's being locked together in a ring. And this applies for any cyclo ring. Okay? So moving on from there, so yeah. One group, two group, three groups. Moving on. This is two groups. And once again, rotate 90 degrees. Chlorine up before, chlorine down, right? And now we're gonna check out. This is HB, HB. Now, same thing as before, we're going to turn it like this. So then it looks a little bit more flat now. And then chlorine, when we were looking at it like this, it was coming right in our face. So that's why it's going up. Because our eye was here. We're looking down into it. Uh, this chlorine was dashed, so it's going down. Okay. This hydrogen is wedged coming out of our face. This hydrogen is um, dash going down. Okay? And then hydrogen, hydrogen. So this would be, let's see. This would be HA, HA, HB, HB. So let's look at their environments, okay? So this hydrogen is being pulled um, to it. His electrons are being kind of like pulled by this adjacent chlorine. This hydrogen is being pulled by an adjacent chlorine, okay? They have hydrogens diagonal to each other. They feel like the same thing. So that these hydrogens are equivalent, and also because uh, over here, this hydrogen A has a hydrogen over here, this hydrogen A has a hydrogen over here, so their environments are exactly the same, so that's why they're the same. And then HB and, H and this HB, they both have the same um, it's like atoms or elements across from them, and they have the same, if, if they have the same things diagonal from them. This is like that, this is out of them. And last one is this. If you just over here, I kind of just didn't. I didn't rotate it again. Here, I just kind of like flattened it out, sort of. If you can see. So here, my eye is looking at it here. So then, uh, chlorine must be coming out up at in my eye towards my eye. That's my cookie eye. And then uh, chlorine's going down here. So I mean, chlorine's going away from my eye here. So then this chlorine is down. And then you have your hydrogens. So then, can you see how like their environments are exactly the same? And there's also like a symmetry element here. You can kind of cut it like this. And then you can also cut it out like this. So then there, th this hydrogen here feels a, t a tug of a chlorine here and a tug of a chlorine here. Its electrons are being dragged over here. And the same is true for all of them. Okay? I hope that helps. Yes. Okay. All right. There. <laughs> Let's <only> get it. <laughs> okay. Special thanks to uh, my friend Ong and uh, guess who? Cheyenne. If you ever need to get shot or punched, now you know who to go to.